guys what's up everybody i hope you're doing well and keeping safe and in case you're new here welcome to my youtube channel this is sharon wangeshu where we speak about real life and vlogging 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 now today we have a good good and a, a good topic aligned for you all and i hope you hit that subscribe button and make sure you share now today's topic it is about toxic relationships toxic relationships i know many of you all are suffering probably not physically but mentally now today we are going to talk about toxic relationship because personally i have been a victim of toxic relationship and i know how it feels to be in that kind of relationship and personally i'll start with my journey and it was a bit a bit it was not a bit hectic it was hectic and i want to start with my journey today i want to encourage every young soul who is in a relationship and feels like they don't want to leave their partner simply because they love them or simply because unafikiria what will your family say what will your friends say blah 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 now personally i was in a relationship with someone and i was in a toxic relationship and it wasn't at a phys- uh, mentally mental it was mentally physical and everything that guy used to drain 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 me and it only started one day when we argued with this guy and alini hit he slapped me and when he slapped me of course because of love bl- love blinded me and i felt like yeah i should forgive this guy and then nikaanza ku feel mimi ndio nimekosea Now that those people simply put you on a guilty box where you feel like you the one mwenye amekosea now you feel like wa mimi ndio nimekosea i'm supposed to to as in to let go of everything so that i can cover my relationship and that is what started with me now when this guy alini hit i just felt like i'm the one mwenye nimekosea and i started up i started apologizing little did i know that this thing will continue on happening 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 now the second time this guy we argued we argued and he did the same thing and i felt it na nikaanza ku feel now it is the time that i have to leave but it was too late for me because i had introduced this guy to my family to my friends everyone knew that i'm dating this guy and it was hard for me how people outside will see us happy and inside we ain't happy now how will i start telling my friends that i have parted ways with this guy <laughs> now she day kanza kutokea hapo I want to leave but on this other side I feel like no it is not the right time to leave because I don't know how I'll explain to my friends nor my family what happened between me and this guy simply because we had created this image of we are very happy we trust one another yani it is that admired relationship I'm a couple yenye ungefikiria they don't fight they don't argue they don't do anything not the second time this guy hits me and i'm like no i have to move out and just start a new life and just forget about everything and i remember that day after i decided to move out this guy brings me flowers <laughs> takes me out and i'm like hey apana who kijana baithiana nipenda ni mimi namkoseanga now i start when yeni nikaanza ku feel sasa niko kwa guilty box again i said tell him babe i'm sorry i'll never repeat and honestly si kwa nimekosea i had shared my past with this guy i know this guy was using my past to attack me so every time yenye tungekosana we are talking about our past he never wanted me to know his past but alikuwa na insist so much on knowing my past so I'm an open book what will I do I shared my past with my 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 that my guy that time now it went on and on on and on on and on one year later I'm still dating this guy but I'm still in that relationship in sina peace of mind this guy would call me i'm in the middle of niko cbd this guy is calling me and nimemwambia niko tao he doesn't believe me now i have to receive to receive video calls for me to prove where i am imagine living a life where you don't have freedom now this thing it can continue it can continue it can continue and one day i'll hit in front in front of his friends and it happened that 
these friends came to visit and mimi huyo acting wifely ni 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 kitchen ni 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 cutting in the kinyana kula and then the guy the guy never used to take liquor but they alikuwa anipiga kwa very sober minded that guy never used anything i don't know if i'm nagging but i'm not that couldn't be the reason of to, as to why someone would hit you now back to my story nika prepare everything nika serve marafiki zake and these friends wakasema ah since tuko hapa all night you can just stay here tuki tukicheza fifa or anything watch our to chukue lika so that the night can be young mimi nikawaambia sawa nyinyi ndeni mimi for the first time i saw my guy drinking i never saw him taking liquor now nilikuwa like nikamuita bedroom babe kuna na kunyanga pombe and he's like no i don't actually naifanya tu just for fun nikamwambia it is okay they continued they continued wakamaliza this guy asked for my phone akaniambia shan unaweza nipatie simu yako yeah nikampea he had my password my everything now akuna kitu nilikuwa na feature furthermore he, i'm dating him no everyone else knows niko hapo facebook nimeflaunt tumepiga look in a banana hey nani ananitosha i have a friend, boyfriend mwenye anakubali to match outfit <laughs> nime wa nimempatia simu ameenda nayo bedroom and then minutes later nasikia shan shan kuja mimi huyo ni mikimbia bedroom babe ni nini 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 and the guy starts telling me nimeingia kwa messenger zako huyu ni nani amekuita babe where are the chats ziko wapi hizi chats zingine za imekuwa mkiongea na yeye god i've never replied that text nilikuwa ya back in 2016 sijawahi i reply it is there actually ati kwa ile messenger yenye inaonesha nanga accept i'm a block sijawahi so meaning i've never spoke with that person story meanza this guy is like remove all the chats that you have been chatting with this guy this guy wouldn't call you babe out of blues meaning that you guys have something niko like nothing is going on between ndo huyo amechukua simu yangu pa ameigongesha kwa ukuta mabishi wake amekuja bedroom amemwambia tokeni tokeni nini 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 no the friends wakaogopa because walishindwa watafanya nini since hawataki kuingililia and they knew that this guy alikuwa ananipiga and I, i remember a friend of him one day told me that shan siku moja tutakutokea maiti hapa it is better you live right now that you are able of working rather than urudi kwenyu kama uko kiwete and nikasikia nimechukia huo boy hadi naambia my guy babe don't let this guy come at my house because umtu ananiharibia ndoa <laughs> Umtu ananiharibia ndoa. Mbona nakuja kuniambia ni kuache na mimi sitaki kukuacha. Back to my story. No this guy I mean hit, I mean hit, I mean hit. Actually I'll accompany this video with I still have the videos on my phone. I'll accompany and attach them in this video so that you can see what I was going through. No nimeanza kupata black eyes. The guy is still hitting me. Hataki kuacha kunipiga. And I'm like babe what do you want me to do to explain ama to to justify that I don't have anything to do with this guy akacha kunipiga aka apologize we slept well we spoke and it was that and now my life began nikaanza kukua depressed nikaanza kukua in a depression but I couldn't tell I remember there is one woman in that place that that guy was staying kuna mama alikuwa na kapo chini and that, that woman one day called me akaniambia Sharon I know you don't speak na watu kwa plot like nilikuwa nimeambiwa na that dude don't talk to people watu watakuharibu ni nini now because I respect my boyfriend mimi niongeleshe niachwe I can never now I wasn't speaking to people kwa plot no this woman calls me ananiambia Sharon let me tell you one thing you're so beautiful and you have to leave this house nikamuliza why akaniambia I have several dreams about you getting murdered by this guy. Niko like hapana, ananiua aje, aiziniua. And this woman told me of a story of a friend of her mwenye alishikushia about the story about the story. And one day the guy ali ali have kuua u dem, aliua best friend yake. 
Now mimi niko hapa niko nashindwa nitaacha aje boyfriend yangu. Ah I go to the house naambia boyfriend yangu, "Hey, huyu mama alikuwa amenita siju kuniambia nini na nini nini." The guy goes and confronts that woman. Achana na kwangu. Nini 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 nini. And nikaanza ku feel, but this guy loves me. Apart from him being violent, he loves me. Now what I did was because ameshanivunjia simu but it still worked but screen ilikuwa imeisha totally now what i did is isibu ndio nakasirishanga boyfriend yangu eh a line ndio nakasirishanga boyfriend yangu what i'll do is i'll flash my line get a new number yani haitakuwa na watu i'll just give it to my mom my family members and my boyfriend because i don't want to make my boyfriend angry What I did nikaenda nikatoa simu line nikai flash nikamwambia love hii na hii mimi sitawahi rudia nini 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 little did i know that this guy was violent and he was a narcissist i didn't know is in nilikuwa bado mdogo siku anajua nika flash nikaendea line nyingine and i had a new number one month later two months later we good the third month We are speaking to nonge about our past nini 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 and the guy reminds me of my past tena he hits me hey niko like mbona unanipiga na ulikuwa unasema simu yangu ndio inakwangana issue simu yangu ndio inakwangana nikashindwa na sasa huyu mtu nitamfanya nini now all this time i wasn't telling my mom what i was going through and now i decided that i have to let my mom know so that in case of anything my mom atajua I called my mom nikamwambia mom mimi nimekuwa nikipitia hii na hii na hii na hii na hii and my mom I remember my mom cried and cried and my mom asked me Sharon do you want to go the same way that I was with your dad Sharon do you want to go and to suffer the same way that I suffered with your dad you could really need it and I felt like it is time I have to move out but yet I'd never made a decision within me that I have to move out of this guy's place. Sasa imefika point yenye says it take it anymore. And funny enough is that time nilikuwa nimepotea home. <laughs> nilikuwa nimepotea home because nilikuwa na misunderstandings with my mom and I felt like my mom hataki life yangu i prosper with my boyfriend. Now I had to leave her place and go stay with my boyfriend nilikaa na yeye for like a bit two months three months and this guy was like shan i can never date you when you are away sisi ku date ukiwa kwa mama yako so you'll have to come and live with me and stay with me and mimi ni nani i had to stay with my boyfriend he it went on and on on and on on and on and now mom akaniambia shan mimi sina shida na wewe just come back home And bado sikuwa nime decide. Ah nikamwambia mama mimi kihappen tena mimi nitakuja. Mama kanambia it is okay. He nikakaa nikakaa nikakaa. One day morning I remember simu yangu ilikuwa silent and nikapata five missed calls za mamangu. I called her back. Nikamwambia mama niambie mama kanambia Sharon you have to leave that place as soon as possible. Niko like why mom? And my mom told me that Sharon I dreamt two times consecutively in one night that guy akiwa amekuwa and you know when i turn, this is my mom saying you know when i i dream it must come to pass you just do this shan just leave that place nikaambia mama mom hajani hit aliniambia ame change nini 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 mama kanaambia sharon come on tukanikutoe huko na sanduku sawa you just continue you cannot imagine that night happened akanipiga kunipiga nao that guy aliniumiza macho vibaya sana alinitoa ngozi and you've never seen an eye bleeding my eye was bleeding na bado alikuwa ananipiga ananipiga juu ya nini ananipiga kwa sababu alinipigia simu line yangu ilikuwa busy so ulikuwa unanidanganya umetupa ile line nyingine bado unaitumia umepatia ma boyfriend zako namba sijui ni nini ni, 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 au ana ume wanakutextingi facebook Niko like sawa. Nani hanionangi? Everyone sees me. So mbona unataka kuiput ni kama nimekuwa nikifanya fishy things. Ananiambia ndio maana tu utakayeni kukana mimi huku because you have places to go. Sijui nini sijui nini. He, mimi nikafeel hapana. Now this is getting out of hand. It is really getting out of hand. 
Fani nafsi kuenda mahali. <laughs> Si kuenda naenda wapi? I my boyfriend treats me. The following day nikapelekwa pale Java. Nini 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 nikabaiwa outfits. Hey, the following day Facebook, pale Insta stories, I love for life. Kwa nimeka 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 no this guy akacha kuni hit, ameka one month ajani hit, the second month ajani hit. <laughs> you can never believe that one day I woke up packed everything nilitoka job nilikuwa naenda job that morning he had gone pay kazi no i woke up in the morning packed everything left the house nikaenda job job nilikuwa natoka around 4:30 nikaomba ruhusa alia nikatoka job nikakam directly place alikuwa anaishi kila kitu nilikuwa nimepack in the morning now i write this letter nikamwambia Let me tell you one day you will remember me and one day you will try to replace me and you will never. I have gone and I have left you with peace and I hope you will get someone who will make you happy and I hope that you will never come looking for me. And those were my words. I locked the house mbio 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 ndio asinipatilie call an Uber nikaenda home. Kwenda home vile mamangu aliniona she hugged me so tight she cried 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 akanuliza kuni amekupiga tena nikamwambia no haja nipiga just made a decision of leaving that house because i was just procrastinating every time nina procrastinate i leave i leave i leave but that time never came and i felt this is the right time to to just leave this, that house and Johnny the guy alifika kwa hao i don't know alipata hiyo letter hapo he knew where we my mom was staying Now nimeka around 8 pm nasikia mlango inabishwa niko like man he's the one nikafungua mlango that guy he's on his knees crying 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 calling me mommy please rudy nini 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 niko like i gave you all that time to change but you'll never change and it seems that you don't love me you will change for the person you love because there is no way you will be saying that you love me and yet you're hitting me uongo meaning you don't love me the guy aganza kuongelesha mom imagine mom ikafika place akaniuliza shana mama utaenda na yeye <laughs> akikupiga tena urudi yani narcissist <laughs> yani narcissist ni mtu atafanya umhurumie uanze kuona ni kama wewe hata ni unakosea now i decided to tell my mom wewe ndio ulikuwa shindo kinaambia ni toke now this time nimerudi and you're here unaniambia tunataka tena nirudi that place nikamwambia mama i ain't going i ain't going siku rudi that place one year later second year third year around august i won't see the year but around august the guy calls me we meet up <laughs> we meet up tunaongea tukaongea tukaongea and i felt like wa Neza rudia ukijana na kama me change. <laughs> One week later, I see a new number calling me. Kunipigia ilikuwa around 11 PM. Sharon, sasa poa, ukoaje uko poa? Uko wapi? The it was a woman mwenye alikuwa anaongea. Uko wapi? Nikamwambia mimi niko kwa nyumba. Akanambia, "Wa, hata nilikuwa nafikiria ni wewe uko huku because uyu uyu ex-boyfriend yako amelala akipigana." So mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ni wewe ulirudi niko like my god imagine nilikuwa nimesema now this guy I may change i can take him back since i still love him and i believe he's going to change i can take him back he was my first boyfriend so you know hey ndio huyo mimi huyo mimi huyo mimi huyo mimi nikam text a full scap nini 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 never come close to me again nini 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 <laughs> and Funny enough is I still felt like I will go to that guy. I'm just speaking this out of experience. I'm just speaking this out of a grateful heart to God because I know what it takes for someone to get out of a violent relationship. I really know because I'm talking out of this in my new perspective of what I went through. I am talking it out of experience and I want to talk to younger me i want to talk to younger us i want to talk to someone in her early 20s 30s 40s it doesn't matter it doesn't really matters it matter someone told me that you can you can live 
a violent relationship with peace of mind rather than live in a violent relationship full of shit yani uko tu hapo you don't know way forward udriki ni utafanya mimi i was depressed but i never knew i was depressed i was sharing this with someone and i was telling him that i could walk and then see someone behind me na kwa ile in shock i stand na ngoja apite so that i can go i was depressed i never i never knew that i was depressed i couldn't listen to my friends because i felt like hawanitaki i couldn't listen to my mom because i felt like hataki relationship yangu grow and i just want to talk to younger us when someone slaps you just get out of this that house imagine once violent always violent it started with a slap it, it went on and on to hitting me it went on and on nikaanza kupata bruises all over my face black eyes all over my face i said i'll attach a video now you will see what i'm talking about i just want to advise a younger a younger me when and i go through the same thing i went through i overcame that and it is not me it was god who made me overcome that because if it it was of my own will imagine bado ningekuwa kwa your relationship but what i did is i just told god i surrender all to you and me i just want you to make my heart it okay hapo completely like i guess god i know i love this guy yes god i know i have made many vows with this guy but god just i would just want you to purify me i just want you to come and refine me because if i wanted kama ningetaka ku work on with force i swear i could i could still be in that relationship and i'm just advising younger girls women please 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 get out of a toxic relationship just get out it will never get better those people will never ever make you feel better never 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 tolerate violence yes wait for part 2 where i'll be assuring my friends when you are may go through the same thing and i just hope that this this will enlighten you make sure you hit the subscribe button it is sharon wangeshi cheer <laughs> Ooh <laughs>